Hi Leo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 3rd to August the 10th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel. It's your loyalty that keeps me coming out here every single week with these 12 zodiac signs for you. <clears throat> and for all the great subscribers coming in, leaving me wonderful, kind, and optimistic comments. And I truly thank you for that and I am blessed for you being here, Leo. We start our week, Leo, with the Six of Air on Monday. And this is telling me that some of you are dealing with something to do with the justice system, the legal system, perhaps some of you are dealing with lawyers and, and things like that. This particular card tells me that <clears throat> things are now starting to look up for, for you. And it's the end of a difficult situation that you have been dealing with, okay? It also refers to some of you I'm seeing are going on a trip. And this trip will involve either being in a boat or going over water. On Tuesday, my friend, you have been given a water card. And this water card is the king of water. And it's telling me that you need to open your mind and, <clears throat> and, uh, and your heart uh, to those around you right now. You may be receiving some uh, information coming into you, and it's going to be trustworthy and heartfelt advice. I see some of you that are dealing with uh, the charity part of your life. Perhaps you are uh, giving um, your time, effort, or resources to those that are um, <clears throat> have less than, than you do. Uh, and you will be dealing with maybe some charitable organization, or you may be meeting someone who is involved in some sort of charitable work. <clears throat> On Wednesday, my friend, you've been given a fire card. And this particular fire card is the page of fire. And it's telling me that some news is coming into some of you. And it's going to be, it's referred to as exciting news. And uh, it's a new endeavor that's coming into you right now. Um, <clears throat> and they want you to deal with it <clears throat> when it comes in with your own ingenuity and your own originality. On Thursday, my friend, an earth card. This one, she is the Queen of Earth, and it's telling me that some of you have been very, very busy in your life right now, and you need to take time for others that are around you, and take a sensible approach when you are uh, making time for these people. Um, you need to deal with any challenges right now coming into you, too, with a kind and more understanding manner when you're dealing with them. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a big smudge on my glass. On Friday, my friend, again, another Earth card. And you've had the Queen, and now you have the Knight. And the Knight is talking about uh, dealing with issues in your life, <clears throat> the material part of your life. It could be your home, though. It could be dealing with issues like that. But most of the time, it has to do with our place of employment and the material part of our life and how we make our money. <clears throat> this one is saying you need to buckle down. You need to buckle down, put your head down, and get to work on what you're dealing with. And also uh, that um, you need to honor any commitments that you've made, okay? But you're going to be able to do this because it's almost as though uh, your guardian angel is going to be sitting on your shoulder patting you and saying, it's okay, you can do this. <clears throat> on Saturday, my friend, you've been given a major card. And these cards come up again uh, in these other readings uh, this week. And this is the release card. And this is about the card of moving on. Um, and going forward, and it, it talks about a phase or a project in some of your lives right now. It, it's the end of it. Um, <clears throat> and it's time to shake off the old in order to welcome in the new. So there's no benefit in staying in a situation that isn't serving you and uh, it, it isn't bringing you some balance or some benefit to your life. Often when we release, uh, there can be some sadness when we're walking away from a situation, whether it's a job, a relationship, a friendship, whatever type of situation. It, it, it can be a little bit of sadness there, but it can also be some relief when you do it. Uh, <clears throat> that lifting uh, uh, of releasing and, and, and uh, walking away or pushing away what you don't need anymore it doesn't serve you anymore. So it's not a benefit to stay there. Um, but it, it also refers to you being able to call on your friends or your family for support when you're doing that. <clears throat> it also refers to relationships and the transition in relationships that are about to happen for some of you. On Sunday, the end of the week, my friend, you've been given the fire of air. And it talks about, and again, these air cards have to do with justice or perhaps the legal system and lawyers that some of you have been dealing with in your life. Um, <clears throat> it's talking about um, 
having to make a choice and they refer to that choice as almost being a universal choice and you and you will learn from this situation but in order to do this to make this choice you need to review everyone's motives around you at the end of the week my friends I did tie in that one oracle card and that oracle card my friend is what do you desire this tells me that some of you uh, <coughs> excuse me have been putting yourself uh, last or taking the back seat to a situation in your life right now and um, you've sacrificed that now it's time for you to sit back and sit down with yourself and in the silence of your own company and ask yourself what do I deserve what do I truly want what do I desire and you know what believe it and manifest it again what you throw out into the universe you're going to get it tossed right back to you because they're referring to this as you actually having the the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire so when you believe in yourself and you ask for what you want it's going to be like uh, magic it's all going to come rushing into you so trust your uh, intuition and, and and sit with yourself and ask yourself what you want believe it and manifest it I hope that this reading brought you some insight and some benefit to your week again <clears throat> Leo I thank you for tuning in and I leave you again with another quote this week and the quote I chose today is Sometimes it's not the strength, but the gentleness that cracks the hardest shells. If you should want a reading with me, my website is www.brendataro, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. Hope to see you soon for another reading, Leo, and for all the new ones coming into me. I thank you so very much. <clears throat> I want you to know that I'll see you again next week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. I know there's a lot of you out there that are dealing with situations in your life. There's people over in Greece that are clients and, and, and faithful uh, <clears throat> uh, subscribers to me. They're dealing with issues out of their control. I want you to just know that my thoughts are with you. Please try to stay positive <clears throat> through all of this there will always be options that you can make and with them come consequences so think long and hard about where you want to go and what you desire my friends <clears throat> I'll see you again next week and know that I will continue to stand in the circle of light for you <clears throat>